Hey gamers, if you're looking for a dice checking combat game with great art, then you might want to check out Tiberius. In this game, you will play as one of the four different factions, and ultimately you are just trying to eliminate all the other factions off the board. Everything that you need to play is contained in this little booklet here. So you'll have your five dice, which you'll roll during combat. This pops off and becomes one part of the board. You can play with up to four players, so up to four boards. And then you have everything else that you need in here. You have coins, which you'll use to buy units and upgrade cities. And then of course your cities, which will give you more income every round and all of your units, which get better as you go up in your levels. And they have more uh, combat dice that you'll roll, more base strength that they'll add to those rolls and things like that. So you are just trying to move around the board to the best of your abilities. Only some uh, units can go over water while everybody can use paths or go through trees. And you are just trying to eliminate all the other players and their cities and get all of your stuff to be the only stuff that is left on the board. The game seems really light when you just look at the rules where you're just moving around and you're trying to fight each other and you know, you're just rolling dice in order to see who wins that fight. So it seems pretty simple. But a lot of the hangups I had were with the stuff in here. So these do pop off. Um, they are really tight to begin with, which was a huge problem. But then you have to flip them over to see how much they cost. It's not consistent across all the different levels, unfortunately. And then some of them also have special abilities, but they're only available on the back. Um, the game also doesn't come with a rule book, so you have to print that out or access it online. So that is another hang up of having to reference things, um, again, either by flipping them over or referencing those rule books separately. Um, so that was just kind of like made the game for what it seemed like it should be really simple. It made it a little bit slower and hard to get to that ease of play. Um, it advertises for ages six plus, but I did think that with all of those special abilities and things like that, as well as targeting rules, um, it was a little bit difficult for younger players so I would definitely say a little bit older or at least players who have a little bit more experience with various types of games might be a better suited audience for this one. I really, really like the art. I think everything is really bright and colorful and really fun to look at. So I definitely think it has a nice table presence for that, which I really enjoy. Um, but I don't think the game was really for me, but I definitely think there's an audience for it out there. So you can de definitely check out my full thoughts on the blog today and see if this one's for you.